Hey, what's up guys? This is Zia, and earlier today, Iniquity and Macro were actually streaming this map mod I made. And a handful of people in the chat were asking how I did it, what kind of programs you need, and how do you actually go about editing maps in this game. So I thought to put together a little bit of a quick tutorial on what kind of method I used to put this together. It's not too bad, you just need a couple of things beforehand. Uh, you're going to need to have to get Pepper's Editor in the North Star Discord. And then you're also going to need the newest version of Icepick to get going. And once you have those things, just fire up your North Star client. And from there, you can just follow along with what I'm doing. And I know right away it's going to be kind of funky to think about why you need two different editors. But believe me, this is like ridiculously important for this method. Mainly just because the North Star client can only handle certain VPKs on each map. And right now, the Peppers editor is the best way to actually see what those props are on each map. So for this example, I'm just going to go into Homestead and use this as an example. And basically what we're going to be doing right now is going through the map that you intend to build your level on. And you're going to want to fire up like a notepad or something to take notes on and write down a list of the props that you plan to be using throughout that actual build. So I just recommend cruise through the list of props. I'm going to show you how to do that in a second. And find the exact ones that you think are going to be the best for what you're trying to make. And this isn't going to be a full tutorial on how to use peppers, how to use ice pick, anything like that. But it will be a full walkthrough of the actual method I'm doing to put together these maps. And if you've never used peppers before, the first thing you want to do when you start up the level is fire open your console log. For me, that's that little swiggly line in the corner of my keyboard and follow along with this command, sv underscore cheats one. This is gonna give you permission to actually put in the commands that you need to start this up. And the only one you have to put in, and I'll put it in the description, is this. Give space mp underscore weapon underscore editor. And if your mod is running right, you're gonna have this in your hand. And you can go into the settings and map whatever key you want to open this menu that I'm about to open. But you just need access to this. And the cool thing about Peppers is, is it's actually going to show you every single prop that you can spawn that will work on the map that you're on. A huge difference to Ice Pick, where it just shows you every single pro uh, prop in the game. I know it's going to sound super tedious, but what you want to want to do is go through this list, spawn random stuff that sounds interesting, and then throw those into a text document. And that's going to be what you're making your map out of. For example, I know that this map has some pretty interesting rocks that you can spawn. So this would be probably what I'm throwing into my version of the map when I'm making it. And when you're going through this, just because you found the prop that looks good, mess with it a little bit and make sure that it actually has like collision. Make sure that you can wall run and mantle on it because not everything does. There's a good amount of props in here that you're going to spawn and it's just not going to work at all. And this search function is super, super, super useful. So once you have those, you can go ahead and close out of your North Star and fire up Ice Pick. And again, not going to be a full-on tutorial on how to use Ice Pick, everything like that. It's just going to be a run-through of how to actually make these maps. If you've never used Icepick before, it's just like an editing tool for the actual, um, it's an editing tool for the single player of Titanfall, but it's just a much more powerful editor than what Peppers can do right now at this moment. Uh, namely, you can freely rotate whatever you want. It just, it, it gives you a lot more freedom when you're making your map and I'll show you that when I'm going through it. So fire up the map that you were planning to work on. For me, that's Homestead, difficulty doesn't matter. And Ice Pick, again, is just super, super powerful. I'm sure Peppers is going to take that spot eventually with more updates. Um, but for now, this is what is the best way, in my opinion, to make these maps. Oh, and you're probably going to wonder why am I keeping it in <laughs> windowed mode instead of full screen. I don't know if this is the case with every single ice pick 
version out there. But for some reason, the only way I can get the rotation snapping to work properly on mine is if I play it in windowed mode. So once you're in here, uh, you can use tab to open up the editing menu. And in the prop list, this is where you're going to want to start to copy paste the things that you wrote down in the peppers editor. And I know, for example, that those large granite rocks actually work pretty well. Not everything. I just know, for example, without writing it down, that this one is loaded correctly. So if I wanted to, I can cruise through the map and build quite a bit out of these rocks. Again, rotation snapping works great, only if you're in windowed mode. And a big thing that this has over Pepper's Editor is that there's an actual undo button for spawning. And that's pretty massive. So I'm not going to make you watch me build a whole map, but just for example's sake, if you're putting together a bunch of stuff on your map, once you're done with it, go ahead and fire open this menu, options, save game. And I actually really can't recommend this enough. As you're going through, make sure that you're saving pretty consistently because um, Ice Pit can crash and it's really heartbreaking if you lose out on a few hours of work because you didn't save. So I'm just going to name this something like... Um, Once you have that saved, you can go ahead and close out of that. And this is the exporting process to make it work within the actual, um, to make it work within the actual North Star client. So open up the folder for Ice Pick, open up data, saves, and then it's going to be stored within here. Now I sort it as this. Open up that file. What you're going to want to do is copy everything except for the stuff at the bottom. That's the gauntlet thing. And then I'm going to have a link to this in the description below, but I use Taskinos Converter to do this. So you just want to paste that into this, hit Convert, and then Control-A, select it all, Control-C, copy it all. You don't need this anymore. Make a new text file on the desktop, and you're going to want to call this whatever the map name is of the actual map that you're working with. This one is MP underscore Homestead, and then change that to a .nut file. So Titanfall can actually recognize it. And then this is where you want to copy paste that entire thing that you just made into it. One thing that's really weird about Taskinaz's converter is it pre-caches the same props quite a few times. It's going to be really tedious, but I do think, I'm not 100%, but it might help the performance if you go through and manually clear out the extra pre-cache calls like that and just leave one for each type of model. Like if there was a granite flat two, uh, granite flat one and three, you'd want those to pre-cache as well, but just one for each specific model. And then you want to keep all these the same. Close out of that. And then what you're also going to want to do is go ahead and grab yourself a, a map mod. I'm going to use Kodai Plus because this is what I build mine out of. <laughs> and you can find this and downloads in the Discord server. So if you extract what's in here, it's really helpful to do it like this because then you can just use it as a template. And I don't know crap about modifying the game or making my own mods. I just know you want to go in, rename the mod.json to whatever your map is named, add in your description, whatever you might need. When you're done with the description, Spam click through mods, scripts, vscripts, mp till you find the level file. And then you're going to replace what's in there with the map file that you just made. My case is this. And this is actually everything that you need to make this into a publishable mod. So if you go ahead and rename it to whatever you wanted it to be, this is the file that you can upload into the Northstar Discord. And that's exactly what people are going to throw into their server to run it. The cool thing about this method is as long as you followed along and use the right props that are supported in Pepper's editor, you know that this is going to run completely um, server side. So you're not going to have to do anything client side or anything funky like that. Again, I'm going to link a bunch of the stuff in the description below. But if you guys have any questions of anything that I might have rushed past, feel free to reach out in the comments and let me know. But yeah, that's it. See ya.